Scents play a big role in our lives. Some fragrances may recall memories or transmit sensations. Who has not felt better after going to sauna with eucalyptus smell? Or associated flowers back quote scents to the feelings of calm and peace. Aromatherapy took advantage of this basic human instinct to treat diseases, provide well-being, skin care and relaxation. It can be defined as the therapeutic use of essential oils for prevention and or auxiliary treatment of physical, psychological and energetic problems. The true aromatherapy consists on the therapeutic application of 100% essential oils in baths, massages, compresses, diffusions, internal use, etc. Before being used, the essential oils are frequently dissolved in neutral lotions such as vegetal oils, cereal water or cereal alcohol. This preserves chemical properties and chemical, physical activity in the human body. According to the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Essential Oils, the favored technique of aroma therapists is the massage, because it ensures that the oils are absorbed in the skin and into the bloodstream. On this method, the essence is diluted into base oil, jojoba, avocado, peanut, soy, peach kernel oil, etc. Another book, Aromatherapy, Healing for the Body and Soul, emphasizes the importance of rubbing the oil in the skin. The author, Kadi Keeville, claims that the human touch warms the body, relieves stress, relaxes and encourages deep breathing. Benefits Aromatherapy is known for bringing well-being and stress relief to people, but this is only one of its possible benefits. This therapy can affect the body chemistry, the emotions and attitudes, and the ability of the body to function. The book, Aroma Therapy, Healing for the Body and Soul, cites a wide range of therapeutical uses for aromatherapy. Reduction of pain, inflammations and spasms. Stimulation of the immune system, hormone production and blood circulation. Skin infections. Heal of respiratory and digestive problems. Emotional problems, like depression and panic. Precautions. Some essential oils, like camphor, thuja and red thyme, can cause damage to the patients due to their high toxicity levels, which can cause severe dermal irritation. Essential oils should not be applied directly at the skin, they should be diluted in a carrier oil or cream. It is also suggested to do a patch test on the skin before using the essential oil, because some people can be very sensitive or have allergic reactions. Some oils, like the lemon and the verbena, when exposed to the sun, may cause spots. The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Essential Oils warns that pregnant patients or the ones who have diabetes, high blood pressure and epilepsy cannot be massaged with some essential oils. It is recommended that they inform the therapist about their condition. It also adverts that essential oils should not be used at home to treat serious medical or psychological problems.